Two 16-year-olds. They just turned 16, so it's 16 and under. Hence 16U. And we're underway. Third bout of these finals. Hand fight off to a good start here early in the first period. Neither wrestler really able to get past the head hands defense though. Referee offering passive on Morales and it will get confirmed. That's the first one. The next one will put her on the 30 second shot clock. So in freestyle, if there's no score, you can't have a 0-0 uh, zero, zero first period. So right away, the official the offering it again. He will let this action continue, though, as Tobaldo in on a shot, and now he stops it. Uh, but with just the two-minute periods uh, for 16U, same as Cadet for UWW, which is 17 and under, a little confusing, but either way, uh, you have to call those passivities quickly. And so the activity clock is on. Once again, both wrestlers just kind of fighting hands there. Tobaldo able to get to a shot, but the defense of Morales, good head block and go behind. She'll get on the board and erase her shot clock. Looking for a gut wrench, trying both ways, can't get it, referee stands him back up. Tobaldo may be a little too aggressive there. Uh, you know, like the, you like to see the shots, you like to see the activity, but it was Morales who was on the clock and that gave, uh, that shot from Tobaldo gave Morales an opportunity to uh, get the snap down, go behind, and erase not only the activity clock, but put two points up on the board for herself. So essentially three point swing in that exchange. Plenty of time though for Tobaldo to come back. Still very much in this match. And Morales not doing a whole lot here yet except fighting hands, holding position, staying real low. She, she doesn't come out of position. And that will bring the first period to a close. The go behind, the only points scored so far in the first period. Morales going into the break up two to zero. Yeah, our California uh, coaches, you saw them both in the same corner uh, in the previous match, both there for uh, Michaela Garcia. Now they just split up. And one of the coaches heads over to the uh, red corner where they did not need to sit last time. or the blue corner where they didn't need to sit. Something like that, one of those two had a 50-50 shot. We're back in action though. Two point lead for Paige Morales. Second period starting off similar to the first. This was fighting hands, staying low. Whoever wins this, in fact, both wrestlers, uh, I would hope we get to see in juniors. It's uh, not uncommon, especially in the lightweights especially for the champs to uh, enter both tournaments, get some more matches, and now it's getting physical out there. Tobaldo, maybe a little frustration. Not sure how often these two young women uh, wrestle each other, both be from California. I know Clovis is where Morales is from, that's Central Valley. Sunnyvale, I believe also, Menlo, Atherton High School. Sounds like the Valley to me. So they may be fairly familiar with each other. Passive offered on Morales, but not confirmed. Now down to under a minute to go here in the bout. Low shot from Tobaldo. She just needs the two. She'll be leading in criteria, and there's under a minute to go. She's doing a good job of holding on to that ankle, but Morales has her hips in good position just as I say that. Oh, good recovery from Morales. Yeah, Tobaldo actually put her hips on the mat, but there she gets her hips back and her ankle free goes to an ankle pick of her own and she'll get the takedown. Wow, that's some gutty defense and then opportunistic offense from Paige Morales. From Clovis uh, right next to Fresno. 
Tobaldo from uh, the uh, um, San Francisco Bay Area, right outside of San Jose. So a little bit of a hike. Uh, they weren't in each other's uh, general vicinity. Shot from Tobaldo, good sprawl from Morales. And that will do it. They say no step out. So a shutout performance from Morales, and she's bringing home a big old stop sign. Yeah, impressive performance. Paige Morales is your champ. Picked her spots, got it done.